Reva, I can never ignore you. You're much too large of a presence. Right back at you. So where are you going to stay in San Cristobal? I guess the palace is out now, huh? Uh, I'll stay at the Grand Hotel and then play it by ear after that. What are you packing over there? It sounds like a whole heck of a lot of paper. Yeah, it's a lot of paper. It's blueprints, cost estimates, PR materials. Got one portable little office in this bag. Remind me again who this Reland guy is that you were talking to on the phone. Ah, uh, it's the Minister of Economic Development Corporation. I think I mentioned him to you yesterday at the Towers. Oh, right. That was right after you asked me to come on the tour. Yeah, Edmund is out, and now Mr. Vreeland is in charge of the Harbor Project. Difficult man. He drives a hard bargain. Is that so? Mm-hmm. All finished? Yeah. You know what? I imagine Josh got sidetracked, and I know how much you want to get going, so I'll call you a cab. Okay, everything's set, but oh. the car won't be here for about 15 minutes. Uh -huh. Mr. Vreeland from San Cristobal called. Oh, right, your new best friend, the uh, Economic uh, Development Corporation guy. Right, I yeah. promised him that I would come down to San Cristobal for a few days for meetings, mm -hmm. leaving tonight. Tonight? Yeah. Is there something urgent? No, I just think we need to establish a relationship with this guy ASAP, not to mention distance ourselves from Edmund. He's clearing uh, a schedule for me, so I feel like I... For us. He's clearing a schedule for us. I'm sorry? Well, like you said, this guy is important to us, right? So I'm gonna go with you. Josh, you hate mm. these kinds of meetings. I mean, they're your least favorite thing to do in the world. Actually, Joshua loves those kind of meetings. I mean, I mean, sure, you put up a good front, but you usually can't wait to get out of there. Mm. I mean, come on, admit it. You'd rather be on site with the crew getting your hands dirty. Well, there is some truth to that, but... Look, I have an idea. Why don't I go down to San Cristobal tonight as planned? Let me do the initial breakfast and lunches with Freeland and his colleagues, do all the kissing up, and then you can show up in a few days. Join me. Make a grand entrance. Be the icing on the cake. What do you say? Now you're comparing me to dessert. Well? I'm serious. This is a good strategy. Okay, let them think that you don't want to waste your valuable time on formalities. It'll establish a nice power dynamic that we can use to our advantage down the road. Olivia, always thinking ahead. Okay, all right. I should stick around and close up the Fremont bed, and I should spend some time with Mara and Shane, so you win. We'll do it your way. Great, You go Perfect. ahead. I'll meet you there in a few days. Uh, I hate to run, but I have to catch a plane. Could you walk me to my sure, car? no problem. Thanks. You want me to take that for you? No, I've got it. You sure? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Olivia, uh, would you mind doing a favor for me? Uh, of course. What? Um... I, there, this bracelet that I have here belongs to Tammy, and I was going to mail it to her in San Cristobal. But since you're going to be there, I thought maybe you might drop it by the palace. Sure, why not? Uh, Josh, you want to put it in uh, Olivia's bag? Sure. You know what, this... <laughs> This delicate bracelet will just get crushed in my heavy bag. Why don't I just carry it in my purse? Anything else we can do for you? No. Not at the moment. I'll be right back. Joshua? Uh, could you wait? And, and not leave just yet? Is there, uh, something you want or need? Uh, I wanted to ask you a question. But it can wait. Yeah, go ahead and walk Olivia out to her car. Well, we're not in any big hurry. You can just ask now if you'd like. No, it, it can wait. Have a good trip, Olivia. Thanks. I'll be, uh, right back. Okay. Million 
Kids and bribe money. What have you dragged Josh into now, Olivia? You tell me. Well, you said uh, you wanted to ask me something. Oh, yeah. Sh Shane wants to go to another summer soccer camp. But the only problem is that it crosses over for the uh, start of school. And I said that he could go as long as he, w he skipped the last two weeks of the soccer camp so that he was back in time to start school. So what's the question? Will you back me up on that? Of course I'll back you up on that. Um, you know, your car's probably downstairs now. Do you want to go? Not yet. Reba, what's bothering you? Oh, well, I just kind of like to stick around and watch you. Uh, scratch that. <laughs> I just miss it, working in this office. I wish I had paid more attention when I was here. You don't like working for the television station anymore? Oh, yeah, I do. In fact, that's uh, why I wanted to stick around, because... Holly and I were actually thinking that we might want to do a, a, a story on construction companies here in Springfield. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds exciting. I, I would certainly be available for interviews. <laughs> okay. Well, it could be exciting, you know, okay. how, how you bid a job and, you know, how you get that job and, and, and the result of that affecting the quality of, of the work that's done. <sighs> you think the viewers would be interested in that? I do. Because when you think about it, uh, you're all really bidding the same thing as far as cost, the cost of materials and labor and that sort of thing, right? Right, yes. Well, then, uh, how do you get the edge on the competition in order to get the job? Well, in my case, it's my charm and good looks. Seriously. I mean, if the competition is that tough, how does one get the job? Reva, this, this doesn't sound like a, some pitch for a new story. Now, what is it you really want to ask me? You caught me. <laughs> uh, we have reason to believe that there are construction companies in Springfield that are being less than honest in their bidding of jobs. Well, that's true. I mean, that's that's really the oldest game in the business. And I'll tell you something. I hope that if you do this story, you expose those companies and you run them out of town. You do? Yes, absolutely. They make our job twice as hard as it has to be. For those of us who, who will not uh, cut corners. Uh, think, think about the crew that Diego was on, for instance, right? Now, Spaulding went with the lowest bidder, and look what happened. So if a company doesn't cut corners, then how do they get the job? Well, this may sound corny, but uh, you just do quality work, that's all. We had a, a source that said um, they actually saw a man go on a job site to meet a city official with a whole satchel full of tons of cash. A payoff. Well, that's what he said. Yeah. Uh, the source. Is there any reason for anything like that being legitimate? No, absolutely not. There's no legal reason for somebody to be carrying around the kind of money that you're talking about. I, it, the guy was probably going to use that money to bribe the inspector so he wouldn't have to do work to code, you understand? Now, what, what kind of a building was it anyway? Oh, not that big. And mm -hmm. he didn't say anything about inspectors. Well, whoever or whatever that payoff was for, those are the guys I hope you find first and run out of town. 
Well, we'll try. Okay. I would put my money on you any day of the week. <laughs> Just as long as you don't put it in a case of small and unmarked bills. Listen, I'm with you on this, all right? If you need help, you call me. Billy and I will be there for you, I promise. Thanks. Okay. You ready to go? Yeah. Okay. I, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll need from you for now. 